G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. I'm back out on the Bibbleman track doing the Collie to Ballingup section and I've just arrived at the first shelter which is Yabo Up. And one of my subscribers answered a question I put out there about what people uh, would like and he turned around and said make a video of each shelter I go to because it'd be useful for other people wanting to get out there and they'd like to know what it looks like the shelter they're going to and uh, if it's not as bad as they thought it is and what's here so this is the first shelter I've come to from doing this so here we go the Yabba Up Shelter now one thing I will say about this one if you're walking in from Collie there's a few hills nothing too bad and you get to the sign down the bottom saying 450 meters well that 450 meters is probably the steepest hill on the section of the track from Collie to the Yabba Up Shelter so make sure you've got a bit of energy left for when you get to that point now this is a view we got and it is just beautiful one picnic bench fantastic place to sit around and have a chat with people or just sit there on your own in peace and quiet if nobody else is here underneath the shelter there's a second picnic bench and this is a fairly new one because this shelter has been extended so you're going to have more space for shade less chance of the wind and rain blowing in so it's pretty good pretty good and the sleeping the accommodation uh, some plywood or plywood benches pick uh, bunk beds if you want to call it and looking at it you could probably fit two up there nice and comfortable two down the bottom the same over that side and probably another four or five across the middle here now not all shelters have this bit in the middle some will have a bench going down there and it just won't be as wide the shelter but you just throw your sleep mat on here and that's where you lay for the night and get some good sleep we've got let's step up oh. okay we've got hooks one two three in this one and an old nail and these are for you to just hang your packs on it just helps reduce it doesn't stop but it reduces the chance of any critters or anything getting into it yeah they've got no more anywhere else some shelters have them on the side here too and hanging down all over all around in different places all right let's get back to them most shelters or i think all shelters now have a rake a brush so you can sweep it clean and it's the old saying leave no trace and they've got a sign up here saying leave no trace up there so basically what you carry in you carry out Just don't leave any rubbish behind because no one's here to clean up after you this is just you come in you do the right thing then you go on to your next shout or you head back to be picked up and we've got one water tank on this side just a small one and it's a rain water tank and it's all coming down from your roof running down into the pipes through filters into the water tanks they recommend that you sterilize your water even though it is fresh rainwater I carry a little Soyo mini filter and I put all my water through that and then into my water, uh, hydration bladder and for cooking and again here's another water tank and here's your pipes bringing it all the way down off the roof into the tank they do ask that you uh, don't waste the water because at times of the year especially in summer the water or tanks do get very low and some actually get empty so be respectful to other people and don't just waste it 
because that water could save somebody's life. Next thing, toilet. Now, let's turn the camera around. The toilet is all the way over there. You've got your signs pointing away. Now these are not flushing toilets, they're composting toilets. So only put down like human waste and the biodegradable stuff. Don't throw your wet ones down there, the wet wipes. Ladies, yeah, if it's that time you're going to have to carry it out with you. Because if you start throwing stuff down here that isn't the biodegradable, it ruins the composting. Then you end up with all the flies in here. Then you get the maggots falling up. And there was one shelter not that long ago, somebody put disinfectant down. And it was infested with maggots the next day. So there you go. There's your drop loo. And that drops down to about six feet into the ground to a compost. And this one's quite posh. It's got a toilet roll in it. They don't all have toilet roll, but this is just some of the nice track uh, volunteers. They'll bring some out and put some in, but you will get to some shelters and there'll be no toilet roll in your toilet. So just remember that's always been enough for yourself to last the journey. And that's that locked again. And if there's nobody else there, imagine sitting on the loo and that's your view, eh? Now here's your sign pointing you towards your tent pitches. They're not one of your camping and caravanning club pitches. And it depends how you look at it, it's probably better because you're actually out in the bush away from too many people and enjoying a peace and quiet. So that's your tent pitch. Yeah, they've been compacted by the looks of it, some of them. And another one over there. Some more up here. So if you're going to put a tent down there, always remember to bring a ground sheet to protect the bottom of your tent. Because there's this pea gravel and there's stones and sand which will quickly wear and put a hole in the bottom of your tent. So here's another pitch, probably big enough for two tents on there. There's some more over this way. A little bit further away than the other ones. If you want a bit more privacy. So you've got some over that side. Fairly big one, you get two. Two man tents on that one. Same here. You get one with plenty of room or a couple of two man tents. And there might be one or two more. I don't know, I can't see. Let's start, that's plenty there. They always recommend that if you come into shelter, always bring a tent just in case the shelters are uh, full. So there's another pitch there. That goes up to the ones we was at, the big ones. Just head back and there's one more thing to show you. Well, we've got spring now here in Western Australia but soon as the temperature gets up we'll be getting some fire bans so that means we won't be able to have fires out in the bush or any campsites but up until that point we have a barbecue pit
so you can have a good night's chin wag around the fire here and keep it all contained and safe and just pick up all the debris that's laying around and make your fire there's a nice one so if you're thinking about it bring a saw with you you can get plenty of good folding saws so yeah oh, one more thing I need to show you In the boxes up here, you're asked to sign in the trail logbook. So let's get one trail logbook out to show you. I've got to sign it myself. And what this is is for your safety. So at the top we've got date, start point, end point, expected duration. Uh, are you overnight in? Are you part of an organised group? Your name, male, female, your age, hometown, and any comments. And the reason for this is if you've left Collie, and like this person here, they're heading to Albany. So they've put they left Collie, heading to Albany, on the 18th. This is their age. Uh, yes, they're overnight in here. They're not part of a group. And they've just put their name down as E. And it's just one male staying here, age 48. Oh, expected duration, that 31 is, sorry. How long it's going to take him to get down there. And where he's uh, from. So if there is a fire or anything happens to you and you don't make it to the next shelter or your pickup point, they can come out and check all these books and see where you were last and that will narrow the search down so it's quicker and easier for them to save you or find you and get you home safe. Some people leave stuff behind. Let's see what's in the box, this one. No, that's empty. Some people, when they get to this point, if they're heading to Collie, they'll leave bits behind, some spare food if people need it, bits of first aid kits. Uh, well, like this one, there's no guarantee there's going to be anything, but it's just basically a bit of trail magic. You help other hikers out and other people. Well, there's not much more to show you at this one. I'm just looking forward to staying here tonight. So I'll be down at the top or be down at the bottom. So if you've enjoyed this video, please go down below and click on subscribe. And then click the notification bell and select all. And then uh, click on the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you haven't uh, have already subscribed, again, I'd like to thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.